All right, guys, here we go. This is gonna be my fall 2017 movie preview. Um, I have my laptop sitting next to me. I'm gonna run through, I think, five uh, different movies. Um, I'm just gonna give you my quick little thoughts or expectations from them and give you the uh, IMDB description so you know what it's about. Um, so, to start off, The Florida Project by Sean Baker. Okay, IMDb says, set over one summer, the film follows precocious six-year-old Mooney as she courts mischief and adventure with her ragtag playmates and bonds with her rebellious but caring mother, all while living in the shadows of Disney World. So this movie was done by the guy who made Tangerine last year. Um, it was shot on all iPhones and the cinematography was just absolutely outstanding. So um, high expectations for this one. Um, if you've seen a trailer for it, uh, I mean, it, you can tell it's gonna be shot amazingly. Um, Willem Dafoe stars in this one as well. Uh, maybe a co-star role actually. Uh, I think it's gonna center on this girl. But um, Willem Dafoe just looks brilliant in this role. Um, He's probably going to be nominated for a Best Supporting Actor um, for this role. And that's just pure speculation. I've only seen a trailer, but this just looks like it's really going to hit home to a lot of people. So, the next one, it's going to be Last Flag Flying. Okay, this is the new Richard Linklater movie. Um, he's the guy who did Boyhood from a couple years ago. Uh, very, very talented filmmaker. Uh, IMDb says... 30 years after they served together in Vietnam, a former Navy corpsman, Larry Doc Shepard, reunites with his old buddies, former Marines Sal Nealon and Reverend Richard Mueller, to bury his son, a young Marine killed in the Iraq War. So this one stars Steve Carell, Brian Cranston, and Lawrence Fishburne. Um, you're probably going to see a ton of trailers for this just with the big names. Um, and it's Richard Linklater. Even though he's more of like an indie filmmaker, you're probably going to see a lot on this one the names in it like I said um, it looks like it's gonna be probably a little heart-wrenching um, it doesn't really look like it's the typical movie that I would want to go see at least like the story and everything but Richard Linklater is just that talented that you kind of have to see everything that he does um, he made a movie what was it last year called everybody wants some with a couple exclamation points I think and uh, that was a very good movie. It wasn't some groundbreaking, miraculous thing, but it was a very good, very entertaining movie. Uh, so I, I really think that this one's gonna be good. I have high hopes for it. Okay, uh, the next one, I won't bore you with all the details. You've seen me talk about this one before. If you haven't, check out the video. It's called Molly's Game, okay? This is gonna be the directorial debut for Aaron Sorkin, who's my favorite writer. Um, he also wrote this one. Uh, the true story of an Olympic class skier who ran the world's most exclusive high stakes poker game and became an FBI target. Her players included movie stars, business titans, and unbeknownst to her, the Russian mob. So you can tell how this one's going to go. I've already broken that down. Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, two of the most talented actors in the business today, two of the most talented actors ever. Um, you can't go wrong with this one. The reviews that, these early reviews that are coming out of the Toronto International Film Festival have been just amazing. People have been praising Jessica Chastain and Aaron Sorkin. So this one is probably my most anticipated of the year. Um, if not, it's gonna be my last one that I talk about today, but we'll get to there. Okay, this next one's also got an insanely talented cast. It's loaded with stars. Um, it's called The Current War. So, the dramatic story of the cutthroat race between electricity titans Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse, George Westinghouse to determine whose electrical system would power the modern world. So, this is always something that's been really fascinating to me, um, but I don't know as much about it as I'd like to. So, hopefully they, you know, give some truth to to everything that happened. Um, ah, starring in this one, you got uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Michael Shannon, Catherine Waterston, Tom Holland. The cast is loaded. Um, 
you know, for me, it's just the, the play on words in the title, the current war, that's, that's solid. That's really solid. Um, so I don't know a ton about this movie. Uh, I haven't even seen a trailer for it. I've just read a little couple blurbs here and there. But with the cast and with what story it's telling, uh, I'm sold. I will be there. So should you. Okay, this last one I'm going to talk about does not even have a name. Uh, it actually is com coming out on Christmas, I believe. Um, so fall, whatever. Um, end of the, we, we can call this the end of the year movie preview, not the fall movie preview. So I'll read you the description. It's set in the fashion world of 1950s London. A dressmaker is commissioned to design for members of high society and the royal family. This sounds super boring, doesn't it? Well, it's directed and written by Paul Thomas Anderson, who is, in my opinion, one of the top five filmmakers ever. Um, this guy continues to put out quality movies time and time again. He does not falter. Everything is phenomenal. Yes, some are better than others, but even the ones that aren't great are amazing. So... Take it for what you will, but when ah Daniel Day Lewis is starring in this one as well, um, this is the same team that brought you There Will Be Blood. So, you know, when you put these guys together, they're gonna make magic, and I expect nothing short of a masterpiece from this movie. So, uh, those are the four mo or the five movies that uh, I think that everybody should be looking for uh for the throughout the rest of the year mo uh, mainly the fall there's some other good ones guillermo del toro's got a movie coming out called uh, the shape of water uh, it's getting rave reviews from the toronto international film festival um there's a lot of them so if you're curious about any other movies or you want some more information on these i'm going to drop some links in the description of the video so you can check that out and yeah, I'm sure that I'll be doing uh, rants, raves, reviews for all these uh, all these movies that I named, and you know when the time comes. So I hope to catch you back here then, and just drop some comments below if you got any questions. And don't forget, hit the little red subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, like, follow, whatever. It's Rome knows nothing. Catch you back here next time, guys.